Hello everyone and welcome back to Twin Horsepower. I'm Michaela, as you know, and today's video I will be showing you how you can make a hay net for your horse using baling twine. Baling twine is something that just about every single equestrian has lying around the yard or I actually save mine so I get a bunch um, for DIYs and things like this when I can, they can be used in a helpful way, <laughs> not just getting on the ground and getting in the way. So, um, this is really, I don't take any credit for this DIY because I found it about two years ago and I, I made one and that's what I use when I need a hay net for my horses, it works really good. So I don't take credit, but I haven't seen many videos on this, and so I thought I'd show you guys how to do it because it saves a lot of money. Hay nuts, hay nuts from the start, they're not that expensive. But I mean, if you can save, like what, 15 bucks, 10, maybe a little more, it's worth it, right? So I uh, just thought I'd make a video for you guys. So let's just get into it. So what you need is a lighter, a pair of scissors, and 34 pieces of baling twine. Okay, so I just wanted to quickly say something um, concerning the number of baling twine you use. Like I said, I use, um, you need, uh, I'm using 34 for this, but that can really depend because it depends on what size you want your hay net. When I first learned this DIY and I saw the video, the person said to make to use 14 strands and I actually ended up bumping it up to 18 and I and I just started making it with 18 but that was still so small and it was like this long and skinny hay net that barely fit any hay in it <laughs> it was really funny actually um, so the next time I made it I added more and I used 34 that's just the number I found that I liked the best but for some of you it still might be small or maybe it might be a little larger than you need so just wanted to let you guys know that the number of these can vary as long as when you can change the number as long as it is an even number because in the DIY we're going to need to pair them up in twos so it needs to be an even number but you can use whatever amount you want depending on what size of hay net you need okay so then what first thing you do is you grab your 34 or whatever number you decided to get of baling twine and try and get this all even together at the up at the end and then um, make sure you got all of them then we're just going to try and knot this, just one huge knot, and this will be the bottom of your hay net. And try and get that as tight as you can to stay. There we go. Okay, so after you knot it, you're going to try and find something to tie it on. You can get firm posts or something. I'm actually using this because it looks like it's going to hold it pretty well. Um, then once you get something to tie it on, you're going to grab two baling twines and you're going to knot it. You're going to knot it up, let's see, how far, I don't know, about that far away from the top. And then you're going to do this all around, so grab two more and knot it at the exact, try and line them up so they're even, so they're... So it's right next to this knot, and do that all around. Okay, so now I have all of them knotted, trying to keep them roughly in the same like straight line. And then what I'm going to do is, you know, they're all in two pairs. So then you're going to grab, this looks like it's double knotted, it's not because this was already knotted. But So you're going to grab two strands that you knotted together and then split it and get the inside piece and try and make the same size what you had up here make the same size and knot them both together down here to make a triangle and you can do whatever size triangle you want for if you want your horse to take longer while you eat make them smaller if you want them to take either faster make them bigger I, th I like this size and do that all around so let's do it again I'm going to take the, let's see, where am I? Okay, right here. So we're going to take the inside right next to each other and try and align the knots. It's never going to be perfect with the aligned knots, but you can do your best. Align them. And now we have 
three, uh, two triangles. I can't count. Two triangles. And so I'm going to do this on the rest. Okay, so now you can see I started ending these pieces because it's all, all knotted and I'm just finishing ending these pieces. And for this part, the video I saw on how to do it, they actually did not explain how to do the end. So I kind of had to make it up myself. All I knew is it had to be loops. So the way I've kind of come up with this is, um, let's try, yeah, let's do this one. Is I take take it and open up its triangle put it through and hold the loop size you need and then split these through and under and then I put one random put the right one back through here and then just knotted it I know that's a crazy knot that's really the best I could get to get knots to end because that was one thing I had to kind of make up because they didn't really explain how to do that in the video so and this is looks exactly like what theirs did I'm not sure if this is what they did knotting it but I know it had to be holes and then just trim and then just trim the sides a little bit and then I'll show you okay so I had to take, cut, take this inside because the lighter won't work outside for some reason but here's the hay net it looks smaller you'll see when it has hay it's larger um, but now we have to take each of these little ends well this is optional doing the ends it just will make it last but what you pretty much do is um, be very careful doing this part I gotta get this lighter working okay and just do that be careful touching it after a while it might be a little hot and do that and that way it hardens them so not as likely to go away, but this is optional. Just kind of prolong the life of your hay net. This, this lighter is going out even inside. You do that. I already also what is more needed is doing it in the back. It's like each piece is hard. I trimmed it and did that. Just be careful doing this part. Okay, now after you do all that, then you gotta make a string or something and um loop it through all the loops on top and you can get a string, a rope, or what I did I just braided more bailing twine together and knotted it up here and then to hook it somewhere you can get use a carabiner if you want or something but this is pretty much done so let's go try it out so thank you guys so much for watching please remember to like this video if you did uh, comment if you have any questions or if you just want to comment because <laughs> those are always nice subscribe and share if you're not subscribed yet um, thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next video